Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech series. Today we're still we're sitting at uh, Logan Prime. We just pulled off a couple of missions, and I think what we're going to do we need to make a little bit of money before the end of the month. And I don't want to wait eight days for Ground Zero to come back, so we're going to do a mixed lands today. We're just going to pull off an easy mission. So we're going to go to the command center and contracts here. We're going to take a mission here, um, dead or alive. I think we're going to take, and it's basically just an assassinate mission in the lowlands. A wanted war criminal has been spotted on Logan Prime. Unfortunately, he appears to have integrated himself into a local government-aligned mercenary company. We need you to track him down and destroy his mech. If he ejects, we'll take him into custody and be tried before a Lorthian court. If not, no harm done. You'll be paid the same either way. So really, this is just going to be a cash run. So we're going to negotiate this. And I think we're going to go for 2 of 8 salvage. We need just enough for the end of the month. This will give us a little bit extra, enough for repairs and stuff. So we're going to go this route. We want to make sure we get 2 of 8 salvage, so we get at least a little bit of parts. I have a feeling at 3 skulls, this is going to be a heavy mech we're up against. And now we've got to figure out what our lance is going to be. So this is our pirate lance. I think we're going to go um, with the regular lance. I'm going to have to bring someone from the pirate lance. So I think that's probably going to end up being... Um, We'll bring payroll in from the pirate lance, and what I'll probably do is I want to use my main mechs, I think, and my main team. So we need the Wolverine, and we need the Trebuchet. So rather than bringing the Butcher, which is payroll's normal mech, I'm going to let her pilot the Warhammer today. And then we're going to bring Height in, and Van Skater, as usual, and Flatliner, and this should probably be power enough to be able to take out what we're planning on going down. We're three skulls, they're three skulls. I think we're probably overrated for what this mission is, but we're going to deploy and get this mission done. Alright, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. Now there are some heavy mechs that we've got in storage. What's this guy? Oh god. Um, maybe a Highlander or something? I have no idea what that is. I guess I'll figure out when we get close enough. Black Knight or something? Okay, so chances are we're going to be facing two Whoa. lances. One main what lance here. So uh, we may get a second lance coming in. Re reinforcements, but we'll see. Um, so we're going to reserve one turn. And then we're just going to move forward. So let's get payroll moving yep. first. We're not going to engage anybody just right off the bat. So. so we've got, like as I was saying, we have a few mechs. Um, heavy mechs that we've got enough parts to almost make a whole new mech out of. So we've got um, a chance to get a catapult. We've got a chance to get a an Orion. We've got a chance to get a cataract. So if we find any of those three, uh, we're definitely going to pri prioritize parts from them. Alright, here we go. So we're in a good position to spot these guys. We've got a 45 tonner and a 50 tonner. Yeah, I think this is probably going to end up being a relative breeze. Of course, now that I said that, someone will probably get headshotted, but let's try not to make that happen. Let's move down. We want to find out who both these guys are. And my game's lagging. I'm not sure why. Uh, Trebuchet 5S. So that's the close range guy, if I'm not... Yeah, that's the close range mech. And these guys are... Oh, well, there's a butcher, too. Flamer, plasma cannon. Let's say standard butcher. So we're going to fire on this guy, since he's the only guy we can shoot at. A little bit of damage. Didn't expect much, but just enough to get started. Wow. Okay. Nice one. Okay, Vance Skater, we're just going to get to walk in with that heavy um, Gauss rifle. We're really just looking for one good shot on one of these guys. Now, this guy's fortified, so let's shoot at this guy. A little better chances. Nice. Okay. Not really looking for salvage off the medium mechs here. So we're really just going to be prioritizing any heavy mechs we find. Another Trebuchet 5S. Alright, you walk up and fortify all you want. We're just going to walk over here and finish up this guy. Hopefully. I'm walking here. So I'm going to unload everything. I'm not really going to worry about heat. Um, we're pretty heat neutral, but we'll be in the water soon anyway, so there's no sense in worrying about that. And he's gone. So when you come to battle with half armor, that's what you get. 
Okay, so they do have reinforcements, I think. Or is that a reinforcement? No, that's just another mech. So 60 ton, the speed it was moving, probably a quick draw. Um, so I think I will sprint probably with her. Let's bring it up here so we can see what we're up against. So we're up against, yeah, a quick draw. Now I'm not sure how many quick draw parts we have. I think we got five of them, five or six. So that's another possibility we could go after. Um, thinking the butcher probably is going to be my target, although he's fortified and has not moved. So let's go against him. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Let's max out the damage on him. Excellent. All right, let's see what they do. Butcher's going to go first. So we still don't know the guy at the back is. The butcher's just going to reserve, I guess, eh? All right. Um, height. Well, let's play the game like we would play the game. Let's get height down here. Um, going to move into range here. Going to make the attempt to make this guy unstable to force him to move. So we're going to fire everything on this guy. There goes the leg. He's protected though. Yeah. So we're really fighting against inexperienced guys here. I thought there would have been a lot more at uh, Three Skulls, but I guess not. Okay, Vane Skater, let's finish up. Um, Hmm. Warhammer is going to move on the trebuchet probably. Actually, you know what? I don't think he's going to be able to spot the trap behind this hill. So we're going to use Vane Skater right on this guy. The there goes the leg. Torso, the arm, pilot injured, and he's going to fall. So Flatliner is going to be targeting both of these guys. So we're just going to walk up. There's no point in sprinting or anything. I'll just walk up to here. I'm going. Can choose multi-target. We're gonna fire on him and him. I think the butcher is probably more of a threat than the trebuchet. I don't think we can actually get a look on that guy yet. But so we're gonna go with the two mediums and an LRM on the butcher and w the small and an LRM on the trebuchet. Firing on multiple enemies. Left torso gone. Panic level critical. Fusion core crit, they're not bailing. Oh, that guy is. Okay. So he's getting up. Man, he's got like no armor, no internal structure left. Alright, props for fighting. I guess you just can't go home. You're probably better off dying here. If you go home, you're going to be embarrassed. So, just trying to look look at the camouflage on the uh, Warhammer here. Actually, looks really cool. Too bad it doesn't show up in the mech bay like that. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the camouflage pattern on him. All right, so let's get payroll. Um, what do you need? First time piloting the Warhammer. I'll do what I can. You'll do what I tell you. And I think we're going to go with an offensive push against the quick draw. And we're going to try for a leg shot. We're just going to fire everything here. All weapons, fire. Okay, one hit. Following up with a little more. Not much more. How do we do here? 77 left in the leg. Okay. So the quick draw is moving in. I want to try and double leg this guy to max the salvage. Not a big fan of quick draws. I like the speed, um, but at 60 tons, it's really, you know, just a little over uh, 55. It's a heavy max, so I mean, I would prefer to have a 70 tonner or 75 tonner. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. I know we all would, but okay. So let's do this. So height. That guy is going to die over there. So we're going to move you. Let's sprint you down over here. Can we get onto his side? We can't. We're going to move height onto the side of this quick draw. And we're going to just fire straight on him. I'm just going to use everything. We get the leg? Uh, not enough. 
but we probably damaged it a fair bit here. Did we? Yeah, it's down to 31. Okay, so we've got a good chance to take his leg off now. And I think I will do that with Flatliner, maybe? At least try. We're going to move down here. We're going to leave the medium lasers off and the small laser. We're just going to fire the missiles on this guy, trying to make him unstable, possibly knock him over. Maybe even hit his leg. Not really. He's got a lot of stability, though. Down to 16. That's not as many hits as I was hoping for. Okay, Van Skater, let's bring you around. And let's do offensive push on this guy. Going to go for the leg, and we're going to fire everything but the Gauss rifle. Nope. It's hoping for at least one hit. Okay. And that was their main guy yeah. movement, I guess. So we're going to get payroll back here. Just going to walk it back. And we are going to offensive push this guy's other leg. And we've got some really good chances to hit here. I'm going to leave the LRM off and just fire the lasers. Okay, a couple of leg hits there, it looks like. Did we get the leg? We did. And we got a knockdown. Perfect. So he's not moving much. We should be able to take the other leg this next turn. So what's he up to? At least he's staying to fight. So we've been taking very, very minimal damage so far. See what this guy's up to. Couple points, okay. Alright, so the main mech hasn't moved up yet, so... Um, height... Not that worried about our positioning here. Just gonna move back, and we're gonna shoot on this guy. Uh, offensive push, firing on the quick draw. And he's got 7 in his torso, 23, 16 in his leg. So we're gonna go for the leg. And I think we will just fire... Can we fire just one rack of ATMs? He's just got 16, right? We just need two hits. So let's go with the ATM-12. What? Oh, okay, he bailed out instead. Well, that's even better. We got more salvage that way. Alright, Vane Skater. You don't get really a lot of chance to use that Gauss rifle, so... Let's finish up this Butcher. He's got much left, so we're just going to fire straight on him. him Boom. Ow. That's some pain right there. Okay, Flatliner moving down. Going to get in close here. Trying to m make up the speed here. I was hoping for a, re a uh, reinforcement lance, but no such luck. Yep. All right, full speed. Roger. This uh, Warhammer is not going to do very well through the water here. So we're going to reserve. See what speed this guy's moving at. So he is a heavy mech. Was that 75 tons? 75. Maybe it's an Orion. Uh, I don't think it's an Orion. Not by the shape of it. So it's probably a um, Black Knight or something. Or an Eris or something along that line. What do you need? How far can we move? Yeah, not very far through the water with this guy. That's all right. We got long range weapons, that's what they're for. Just gonna move in slowly, stay behind this rock. Ready for orders. Roger. Okay. So this is gonna be a attempt at a double legging on this guy. Holding for tactical advantage. I mean we could try for a headshot. But I'm thinking a double legging is gonna be a little easier. Alright, so let's Let's go after this guy now. I think I think we're we're close enough here. So this guy is a Black Knight pirate. Chain shots, no, no PPC and deaths there. That thing's hilarious. Okay, so let's just lock everything on, and we're gonna fire everything on this guy. He's got lots of armor, so let's start burrowing through that. Don't know if we'll get lucky with head hits here. It would almost make more sense to just try and go after his head. Especially with that much armor. Um, how much armor? We don't have much left here, do we? 14%. Let's save that. Just going to fire straight out with everything. Maybe we get lucky and get a head hit. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Working on the stability though, so that's good. Alright, van skater moving over. Let's see if we can connect with this heavy goss. It does take uh, some damage drop off for range, but... Wow, the number of misses this guy's getting now is ridiculous. Yeah, we're going to have to get you, like, energy targeting systems or something. I don't know. So let's just walk it up. There's no point moving close. He can't see us back here anyway, but we're just going to fire on him. Let's get some stability damage. Drop the LRM-20s in. So even with a bad... Oh, okay, I don't want to say Payroll's a bad pirate, but even with a worse pilot... A one-head hit, nice. In the uh, um, Warhammer... Um, things are going really, really well because it's, it's, um, the targeting in the arms and everything, and the plus three, uh, TTS, it's, um, pretty much foolproof, pr foolproof, any mech warrior can get in and just pretty much do okay. So let's fire everything and knock this guy down, hopefully. So he's going down. Head, another head hit, excellent, and one here. So we got some really good chance to get some good salvage here. So flatliner, Standing by. you're not even going to move, buddy. Okay, you're going to attack this guy. We're going to go for a headshot. Confirmed. It's weird though. I think he's got a center torso helmet. So, um, I don't think we can. That's, it's so weird how that works. If you go for his head and get a headshot, it applies to the head and the pilot takes a hit, but if you shoot the head off, the pilot's still alive. Not really sure how that works. He's panicking now. Okay, payroll. Yeah. Let's attack straight out. We're going to look for a headshot on this one. Come on, get a lucky shot. Damn it. Oh, he bailed. Game, nice. Game over, man! Game over! Okay, excellent mission. 399,000 contract payment increased by 25% because we killed everybody. So that's awesome. Nice experience across the board. Of course, payroll gets more because she's lower level. But um, yes, nice experience. Okay, look at all this salvage, man. Black Knight parts, one Vindicator part. Oh, so we do have, we have three of this type of quick draw, but I think we have a different type of quick draw as well. So there is a possibility of getting a quick draw. However, there's all these other trebuchet pieces, right? So I don't know. Chainsaw, how much is that worth? It's kind of a cool looking weapon though. Nine times five damage. So potential for 45 damage. Stability five, heat five. Eh. ER medium lasers, PPC snub noses. You know, the damage fall off on this, uh, that's the th one thing that takes me away from these guys. I know they're a little less in the heat, but the, f the fall off damage is something I don't really like. Um, heavy Pharaoh, 21 reserve slots, minus 20% armor weight. Well, that's interesting. Two torso cockpits, combat shield large, reduced damage taken. Minus 20% jump distance. That's a good possibility. Light engine we don't need. The triple XL, I th oh, the heat exchanger for sure. So we only get two. Hmm, heavy gyro. Heat bank, oh my god, there's so many good things here. Like this engine itself is like almost 4 million. But it's 56 tons, right? It's crazy, the weight on that thing. What else is down here? Reinforced structure. Hmm. 25% structure weight plus 50% structure points. Interesting. I don't know, man. That double, this heat bank is like, well, you know what? We haven't really needed it, and I don't think this combat shield is really what we want. I'm thinking we were going to go for cash. It's going to be this triple XL engine. That's like, that's like um, 800 and something thousand when we sell it. So let's do that. Let's go for money. Let's go for money and hope we get some good stuff elsewise. Let's just do this. The, this triple plus exchanger is definitely needed. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's hope we get the heat bank. 
Okay, one Black Knight part, one <laughs> Quick Draw part, two Trebuchet parts, ER Medium Laser, Cockpit Torso. So we didn't do that badly considering. Considering we only got eight, on, eight items, but uh, I was really hoping for uh, more Quick Draw pieces, but no big deal. So only 10,000 in repairs, so that's excellent. So we made a really great cash today. Um, definitely have enough for our financial report coming out on top. We've got a... Um, Actually, let's go really quickly to the store. We're going to sell the triple XL engine. Now we do have some old mechs sitting in here too, but at some point I want to have like a heavy, medium, and light lance, and then one extra lance. So um, that's why I'm hanging on to them. So let's go down. Let's go, go to equipment here, and the triple XL engine, and we're just going to sell that straight out. Um, so 812,000, just going to sell it. Boom, one and a half million. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to save some of that money because once the high capacity power um, upgrades or the power conduits gets finished here, if we go quickly go to our, our engineering, we're down to only a couple things left. Drive system, which is 760,000, and then we've got two of these habitat pods left over. So I'm thinking probably the drive system will come next um, just because we can get around quicker. Um, travel times to and from the jump points increased by th uh, reduced it by 30%, which is great. So we can get there much faster, and then um, we'll finish the habitat pods off because this habitat pod is like 2.25 million, something like that. And then we'll look at doing all this stuff later on. So nice, because that way we can start using our uh, if we get enough parts for the K after drive, we can start using that right away, which I'm hoping to do. Um, we can do some uh, jumping into pirate points and do some pirate attacks that way. So I think I'll end this episode for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And um, please feel, feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. And oh, we, look at this. We've got our uh, reputation is like now for with uh, the Lothian League, which is great. So um, yeah, we're going to move on from this system later on. Um, I think what we'll probably do is we'll do one more mission here with Pirate Lance with a reduced number of guys. And then we'll move from here to the next system over, which I think is only an eight-day travel. But until that time, I'll see you later.